Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you what I have done with my living room area. We have an open plan, so it's uh, only the section that is the living room space with the couch and everything. So that area I have made over and it was very unexpected because I didn't plan on doing that. I will tell you the little story just in a couple of seconds. So let me tell you the background story to this makeover. I've been longing for a new couch for a long time now. You can see it right here, it's all covered with blankets because it's not very pretty. Uh, it's still sturdy and still functional, but the cats have been at it and it does not look pretty anymore. You can see it naked over here. And I give you a little close up as well so you can see what the cats have done to my couch. So it doesn't look pretty. I have not thrown it away. I have trimmed off the threads and I have put it actually up these stairs in our little relaxed area covered with blankets. So it started in December. We wanted a new couch or I especially. I found one online and they have a store not too far away from here and we called them and asked if they have this sofa, this particular color in the store so we can look at it, but it did not. Can they send a sample of the fabric so I can really touch it, feel it and look at the color? But they didn't have that. But the picture they presented, you can see it right here, did look good and it fits so well into my decor with my green walls and everything and I was pretty excited so in beginning of January we decided to order this sofa and mid-February we got it. I will show you this one. This is what I thought I was getting, sort of a moody, mossy green. And this game, you see the difference? It's an emerald green, it's very pretty. But this is more moody and this is more vibrant and it didn't go with uh, my interior. So what is it going to do? I was devastated for a while and uh, we wrote to the store and said, we have gotten the wrong color but they returned and said oh, you have received the right color but we agree with you it doesn't show on the picture if you want to keep this the couch we can give you a commercial gesture discount of 10 percent or you can send it back now i didn't want to send it back really i i don't mind the color it's it's a beautiful color but it doesn't go with my decor. Hubby said, let's keep the couch. You can put some blankets on. I said, no, I don't want to put blankets on. It's a new couch, I want to show it off a bit. So I said, I can keep the couch, but then I need to repaint the walls to go with this couch. So I took this tiny pillow with me to the store and started looking for paint colors. And I got a few samples, you can see them right here. I moved them around in the living area, compared them to the couch and uh, yeah, was just feeling what color I wanted to choose, if any of these. And after a couple of days, I was sure I wanted this one here. It's like a gray beige, a grayish color. Love it. It has that gray tone but still a warm touch to it and it's kind of moody still but it goes so well with the couch color. I will show you my process and uh, also a couple of DIYs along the way to complete the makeover. So stay tuned for this. I have started painting the first coat on the wall 
and uh, I moved the, the furniture, covered the couch so it won't get in my way and be splattered with paint. So I applied two coats with this. I chose actually a satin color normally, I chose matte colors for walls, but this time I got a satin color and it looks good. And now I'm like five meters above ground working. And up there I only used a paintbrush because I couldn't carry a roller or anything and still hold on for dear life. So working my way down this wall and next day I am continuing painting. I normally have um, like you see the wood strips there that I'm painting in between. Uh, I have my palette uh, wood wall there. I just took it off and I will put it back on once I am done. So what do you think of this color? I am so pleased with this color. On this wall I had to paint uh, three three coats a little bit more even on the white part there but because it uh, it showed it still showed after three coats so I gave it four coats and I was happy The baseboards were a darker green color before, but I decided to paint them in the same color as the wall now to just blend it in. And the wood boards on top there, where I'm painting, I bought a dark anthracite color, almost black, that goes so well with my furniture pieces and the fireplace everything so it looked perfect love it if you're new to my channel hi I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs some thrift flips trash to treasures renovation of my home I even do some pottery and some painting please join me Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. This little furniture piece was up in my relax area but when we moved the couch, the old couch up there, it was no space for this one. So I decided to repaint this one in the same color as the wall, as you see me do here. I wanted it to blend in more, not to be a standout piece. And I applied two coats on this furniture piece. And the drawer pull. I spray painted in a gold color and I also applied a touch of black to dull it down a little bit to make it more vintage looking. I have some decor pieces. This lady right here, I thrifted her for three euros and she has some spots on her. So I wanted to freshen her up with a coat of paint. And also this dove that I was gifted some years ago. It was um, a space for a candle to sit there. So I've just speckled that to cover it up completely. I have this sample wool paint here. And I put in loads and loads and loads of white because I wanted a lighter color. So I applied two coats. I I did put in some baking soda as well to give it some texture.
And this woman here, she has a sister too that is more of a, a black brown color. She looks perfect as she is. I will not do anything to her. You will see later on the two of them together. I decided to also paint these LED candles, three of them in the same color. I used a paintbrush and I shouldn't have because you could see brush strokes when it was lit. So I went over it with a sponge as well, just dabbing on the color. Et voila, this is how my space looks like now. I am so in love with this. It was unexpected, but I'm actually now happy that it was done beautiful, I think. So on this wall over here, we still have the green that goes into the kitchen as well. I love it as it is. It's so far away from the sofa, it's so it does not clash at all. So tell me, what do you think of my makeover? Do you like the colors? Do you like the couch? Let me know in the comments. I love how it turned out. It's still sort of a moody feel to the space, but it goes so well with this couch. It's vibrant. I love this color. And you see the painting, it really pops now. The cats love the couch as well. No scratching yet. I cross my fingers. You can even see the color of the sofa reflecting in the water of the painting. Can you see that? It's beautiful. And over here, I have my beautiful ladies three euros each for them at the thrift store steel and the dove over there as well looking pretty and over here in this corner i have my chaise long and i bought a a rug there to fit with the other rug that I have uh, by the couch. And here is my piece of furniture that I made over. Goes so well in this corner. And things I've done before, my paper mache ball, etc. And here is my palette wall up again, fully decorated. You can see the candles that I painted in the middle and the black that goes across love that goes so well with the window and the fireplace looking elegant sophisticated even love it and here's a 360 degree view of the space so if you like this video and videos like this, consider subscribing and hit that like button as well. It will help my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating inspirational content for you. My aim is to upload one or two videos per week. If you want more inspiration straight away, just hit that DIY playlist icon appearing on the screen right here. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.